writers and readers, I'm Christy Stratus and today I want to talk about the pros and cons of reading challenges because I've been going crazy trying to complete a reading challenge this year and it's not working out at all. It's making me feel really stressed but there are some really good things about reading challenges as well. I've tried the Goodreads writing challenge last year which is just naming a number of books you want to read and I still had trouble completing that even without any book list picked out. So this year I wanted to do, I made up the best fantasy book subgenre reading challenge so that I could get to know fantasy books better and have more experience reading them. I felt like my experience was so limited that I was missing a lot. So I wanted to read all the subgenres. Now there's even more subgenres than when I started the reading challenge, but I have to say it's really hard and I'm really losing interest fast, not in the books, in the challenge. It's too hard for me, I can't handle it. One of the best things about this challenge was that I made out a list of the books that I wanted to read. I picked two books for every subgenre, so I, I picked out 65 times two books, and I can't do math, so you can figure out what that is. It was a lot of work, but I did pick them out, and I have like a nice little sheet of them. There's a picture on Instagram somewhere, and I carry it to the library with me, and I wanted to read about for, I think it's about a book a week. Actually, it can't be because 52 weeks in a year, 65, but it's more than that. It's terrifyingly more than a book a week, which I cannot handle. I did really well through January and February, and I was really thrilled with that, but then March came and some of the books Oh my god, they were huge, my library is very disorganized, and they'll say that they have something and then they won't have it, so it's also really frustrating in that way when I tried to plan it out, because I have a Goodreads group, so I was trying to do it that way. And then it was just, I love having the list. The list was awesome, because I didn't have to think about what do I want to read next, which is a problem for a lot of people who love to read. You read a book, you love that book, and then you're looking for something similar, but it's still not going to add up, and if you go too far away from what you just read, you might be disappointed in it. It's like difficult to pick out the next book, so having a list was awesome, and I loved it. I just headed straight into the next book. I loved walking out of the library with a pile of books, that was a lot of fun too, and I did try to do a balance of audiobooks and paperbacks and ebooks and things like that just to switch it up and get myself listening to one book while I read in hard copy another book, but still I'm just having so much trouble keeping up, you know, my schedule I don't have an easy schedule to just arrange and say, okay, well, I'm just going to make this time to read. A lot of times I work from 9 or earlier until midnight or later, so it's really not easy for me to just put that time aside. By the time I go to bed, I am exhausted. So when that isn't happening, it's a lot easier. But I mean, like, for example, okay, I owe, like, my salary to the library, which is super unfortunate. But anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much the amount I owe because... I keep forgetting to return these books and I keep hoping that I will be able to finish them. But I mean, I'm looking at a book like this. Okay, this is too, this, I cannot, this is not a week, this is not a four day book. For me, this would take like a year. I am the slowest reader in the universe and that's another reason these challenges are so hard for me. I was hoping this challenge would really help me just read faster and focus and just pfft. I tried doing that with Pawn of Prophecy. I read like the whole introduction or prologue, whatever it was, probably prologue. I read the whole thing really fast. I tried to just not repeat. You know how like when you read, you repeat things in your head, you see it and then you like sort of read it in your head and they tell you not to do that and that's supposed to pick up your reading speed. You're not supposed to read every single word, stuff like that. It's sort of a practice thing. So I was trying to do that, but I read the prologue to Pawn of Prophecy was like, oh, okay, this is interesting, I like it. Then I found out that my library has the audiobook. I picked that up instead because it's a long book, and I thought, okay, well, if I listen to it on audiobook, I always finish those. So I listened to the prologue part again and was like, this is a whole other prologue. I didn't read any of this. It sounded so different because I had sped through it too fast and missed too much stuff. I don't like that. There are some people who can read books really fast and get everything out of it, and I am not one of those people. I can only do that when I'm editing because I have a different focus, but when I'm reading for pleasure, I can't. I can't do it. It's too much. I mean, the same month I'm supposed to read, what is this? I can't do two of these. And it's my own challenge, so like, I'm coming down on myself for picking these ridiculous books. How can I read so much? I just can't do it. So. You know, even this one, which I really like, Mad Kestrel, this is a great book. I love it. It's swashbuckling fantasy. I mean, 
that's really cool. It is not that long, it's like 300 pages, a little bit over 300 pages. It's not that long, I'm still like halfway through it. I'm just not made for reading challenges, but I think that they are a fantastic tool if you are a faster reader than I am, because especially if you make a list for yourself. If you have trouble picking out books, make a list of the things that you're determined to read this year and just go in order. And for me that helped a lot, so hopefully it'll help you too. And if you are someone who's good at reading challenges, like I've seen these people on Goodreads who are like, oh, 200 books was too few, I've raised it 250. I'm like, I can read maybe 40 books in a year. You are so lucky. I wish I could do that, I really do. But if you're someone who's better at reading challenges than I am, tell me what your secret is, how you read faster, what do you do? I would love to hear about your experience. I'm just giving up on the challenge part and I'm just gonna pick and choose the books that sound good to me and just try to read those and appreciate them for what they are. In my very slowpoke, sloth-like reading style, I'm just going to enjoy the books as I enjoy them. So let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to hear from those of you who are good at this. And thanks for joining me today.